Thank you, film crew, for that awesome, awesome video about the cafeteria rules. Uh, and welcome to the second quarter virtual honors assembly. We're slightly behind schedule. We've been a little discombobulated because there's been a lot of snow. And now all of a sudden we're in 70 and 80 degree days. So spring has sprung. Um, however, we're on track. Um, and I want to congratulate everyone, all those classes that did win those dance parties. It was awesome. It was amazing. And I'm watching that chart and seeing that there are a number of dance parties coming up uh, for uh, this next round. So keep up the good work. We're thrilled with what we're seeing in the cafeteria. And I really appreciate that students are monitoring themselves. And I love the way that students are taking responsibility for helping to clean up and make sure that the cafeteria is a good environment for everyone to eat in. So thank you guys. We have a lot to look at today. Um, we're going to take a look at some photos of our honored students for perfect attendance and for honor roll. And we're going to be interviewing two students who set some goals, tried some new strategies out, and met those goals and did great things. Uh, I know a lot of you are setting goals and improving. And that's one of our, our real focus areas for this year is setting our own goals, trying strategies out and really making the improvements that we know we can make to continue to grow and continue to learn. All right, as part of today's virtual honors assembly, as we've done in the first quarter honors assembly, we're talking about goal setting and making our goals and what do we do to achieve those goals. So today we're gonna talk with two people. First of all, we have Isabella from third grade. Isabella, say hi. Hi. <laughs> all right, Isabella set a goal and achieved it during second quarter. Tell us, Isabella, what, what was your goal? My goal was to get better at math. So she set a goal about improving her math performance. Isabella, why did you choose that as a goal? I saw a report card and I wanted to improve, so my mom told me to focus on math and get off the basketball team for a little while. Okay, so sometimes we take a look at our scores and we say, I know I can do better than this. And we talk to our parents about things and we make decisions about priorities and things that are important. So she chose, I'm gonna really bump up that math score. What were your strategies? How did you decide to set about improving your math performance? Getting, coming earlier to Miss Quincy's class in the morning. So Isabella said, I'm going to come to school early. Do you know those third grade teachers are here? They come in at like 6.30 in the morning. It's insane. It's wild. It's awesome. But they are seeing students as soon as they get here. They can come in and they can do some extra work and um, maybe get help on something that wasn't clear the first time they taught it or review something and get ready for a test. So how did you know that your strategy was working? I got a new report card and my grades improved. 
wow, so you're, you, it really worked then. Your grades went up. How did you feel during math instruction at the regular time in the school day? Were, were you seeing that it was easier or better? It got better, so whenever I started looking at the problems, I got it more. So you also noticed, or Isabella also noticed as she was in math class, hey, I get this. This is easy, and I can learn this really fast now. That That's great. Have you set a new goal for yourself? Um, about trying equivalent fractions. Ooh, equivalent fractions. I know fourth and fifth graders, equivalent fractions are your friends too. Um, we revisit those throughout third grade math, fourth grade math, fifth grade math. I think they even talk about them in sixth grade math. And just to let you know, my son in high school, he even still hears about equivalent fractions. So that's a great goal. It gets you a little ahead of the game. You're focused, you're moving ahead. Thanks so much, Isabella. Good luck and congratulations. You set a goal. Good job. You met your goal. We can all do this. Hang on just a second. We'll hear from someone else. All right, and we're back. We're going to be speaking with fifth grader Justin. Justin uh, has an interesting story of a new goal that he set for himself trying something new. Justin, what? tell us all about what you tried out in second quarter. I tried out the geography B and somehow I won. <laughs> so, you know, every year Ms. Frick and Ms. Cohen kind of run the geography B here at Barrett. Um, all fourth and fifth graders are invited to participate and Justin saw it. What, what made you interested in trying out for it this year? Well, I just like tried my hardest. Like Mrs. Frick um, hands out like Pay, or like test for the geography B to every fourth and fifth grader when they go to library. So I just tried my hardest, and yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> so those those papers advertising the geography B and some of the information in it looked interesting. Is social studies something you particularly like? Uh, yeah. What, yeah. What do you What do you like about it? I just like learning about the past and like what people did back then before us. Okay. So this was an area of interest for you. You already had some good background knowledge in this area, and you thought, why not? I'll try this out. Did you set a goal like, hey, I want to be the champ. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. And not really, because in my head I thought, like, I'm probably not going to win, but I was trying my hardest through the whole thing. So you entered it thinking this might be kind of fun, kind of interesting. I'm going to really try. But you ended up like making it past the first round and, and going into the second round. When you started going to the higher levels, how did you feel? I felt like really surprised. Like, it was just really um, shocking. So it was shocking to you, but you uncovered this talent, this, this really interesting reservoir of good information you had that really you, you didn't even necessarily know about. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. And so you ended up becoming our school champ, and that's really exciting. And in February, um, with champs from other schools around Virginia, Justin took uh, an online test, and we're waiting, I think, to still to hear the results of that and know, does he advance to an, a new round? Um, that's really exciting stuff, and it's a, quite an achievement, really. Um, the Geography B is really actually asks a lot of complicated questions. You have to know a lot about a lot of different places, um, names of capitals, names of rivers, mascots. It's, it's questions that you have to really have a lot of good information in your head to be able to do that. So great job. Do you have a new goal for yourself now? Uh, I'm just gonna try to win in middle school. He's going to carry this title forward and keep trying out. Now that he's found this new talent, he's going to keep going with it. Great job, Justin. Awesome. We're all proud of you. <laughs>